how you're going to be compensating them or how they will be compensated. The two common ways are either employee or independent contractor, and it should depend on the work that they're actually doing. It's not something you're supposed to be able to just decide. It's, it's more based on the actual work and the engagement and the responsibility. So if you're a business owner hiring them, you definitely want to talk to your accountant and get their advice on all this stuff. Really, it's good to get your accountant's advice on all this either way, but especially if you're a business owner employing them. And then when you talk to, to your accountant, I think it's it's going to be good to, to ask them about specifically like whether or not they should be considered an employee or an independent contractor. Now, like I said already, I think I implied this earlier, like the employment setup typically has a slightly better tax benefit. And that's because your kids don't have to pay Social Security or Medicare tax. And you don't as the employer as well. But you have to make sure that they're working in the correct way to be qualified as, as an employee. Now, an independent contractor, that's a different setup. Like I said, there's a little bit more tax implications typically, and that's because they, in most cases, have to pay Social Security and Medicare. But as the employer, the admin requirements are a little simpler. So like I said, talk to your accountant about the specifics of this. Um, now, if you're not the business owner hiring them, or say they're just going to be working for someone else and they're going to be an independent contractor, especially, I would also throw out is you need to be thinking about making sure you're keeping all their income records and expense records so that you can report it correctly on their taxes. So going back to the first rule, like in order for them to fund a Roth IRA, they have to have a tax return filed and have to show income up to the level of the amount they funded. And so you're going to have to be having numbers ready to file a tax return at the end of the year or at the beginning of the next year. And so it's best to just kind of keep up with that along the way. Even if they're getting paid cash, you can create a spreadsheet and document each income and then where it came from. And if there happens to be expenses, like what it was and where what it was spent on. So types of compensation are important to consider. Like you want to make sure you're thinking about independent contractor versus employment. Employment is a lot simpler for the employee, but a lot more administrative burden for the employer. Whereas independent contractor is going to be pretty straightforward and simple for the employer, or I guess the entity paying them, but you're going to have to make sure and keep up with records as the, you know, parent of the child so that when you do taxes, it's, you have the correct numbers. Whereas if they're an employee, you just get a W-2 and it's pretty straightforward.